Let's talk about information diet. This is the beginning of building a second brain. An average person consumes 17 newspaper a day. Human needs water, food, shelter, and information to survive. Dopamine is a molecule of more and desire, but why? Let's look at an example. I am standing in front of the fridge. I see a bag of gummy and a broccoli. The evolutionary brain says that which one gives me more dopamine rush and pleasure. The brain will pick the gummies for the entertainment information. The brain will crave more pleasure. The urge increases and that's when addiction kicks in. Who wants to hear the truth when they can hear they're right? I have went through the conflicts of laziness. I have a set of system to create an information diet to fuel my creativity. Welcome back, and if you're new here, nice to meet you. My name is Priscilla, and have you catch yourself recently mindlessly scrolling? Since online school have started, I've spent a lot of time screen hopping, which is a bad sign of my attention is dropping to a level of a goldfish fetus, it scares me a lot on how much time I'm spending scrolling away. Just like how we eat food, we want interesting, healthy, unprocessed, memorable, creative foods of information to be consumed. When I open up the fridge, this is where the selection of food occurs. I sometimes will open and close the fridge mindlessly. I just want to get food whether I'm hungry or not. Just like I scroll on my phone whether I'm information hungry or not. I just want something to do. Humans just like to be busy and fall in the hole of losing your productivity. And here's a scientific paper right here to prove what I've said. Humans will tend to do whatever it takes to keep busy even if the task is meaningless. The fridge, in this case in the information diet world, is things 3. The app's design and workflow is based on getting things done by David Allen. It is a workflow to help you design and streamline your to-do list and areas of life. Things 3 costs $50 on the Mac App Store and then $10 on the My iPhone Store. It is a one-time purchase, so it is a lot cheaper than based on a subscription. In my areas of life, I have a category called Second Brain. I find fun books and things that interest me and I just chuck them in here. So the list is ever growing and beyond the limit. Limits. Why couldn't I remember anything about limits? Limits. If the limit never approaches anything, the limit does not exist. The limit does not exist! You never know what is in the past of humans' brain, from digging through the history of Marcus Aurelius and Charlie Mungler's wisdom, Elon Musk's life stories, Steve Jobs' invention of the iPods, stand on top of those intellectual giants and learn what I have solved already. Rule of thumb with choosing books podcast to read is that the more processed the information is, the more skewed and the, from the original information. So to illustrate this idea that processed information are more affirmed and a thousand calories of processed food are very calorie dense. Just as processed information, this type of information is very dense but kind of empty in the calorie. A thousand calories of healthy food have a lot. The consequences of very processed and bad quality information information obesity. Information obesity is what makes people not know the basic facts and believe in falsehood. People are informed, but is the information truth or not accurate? This issue does not come from a lack of information, but the problem stems from a new kind of ignorance. That is the consumption and selection of information that might be skewed in presentation. So the next step, we come to the food selection process. I even have a process for selecting my foods of book podcast for courses that I would like to spend my money or spend my time to consume. Here I follow another principle called RROIT. RROIT stands for reading return on invested time. As this channel always says, knowing your purpose is the most important thing with app selection and reading selection. The first question I'll ask myself is that what is the purpose of consuming this content? Just for fun, to be better at my current job, to learn a new skill. There and reading has also one really magical thing. I can match my context of reading to my environment. I'm sure that in history, people also felt the problems that you did. Like me sharing my experience of note taking to you guys, I'm in a step in front of the journey that you might be interested. And yes, subscribe for more content like this on taking notes and building a second brain. Yes, right there. The one thing that has added most value to me it might be reading so far. So after this food selection process, we have come to the actual chomping. So first, if it's a book, I will find it on Audible. Audible is an audiobook service that is under Amazon. It comes at a cost of around 126 25 US dollars for 12 credits and one year of membership. 
I really like Audible because the production process is a actual human's voice reading the book to you so it sounds very natural. If the book is more of like information fun and I'm not learning it, I will use Audible. For example, if it's animal science books like the one that I've recently finished called Beyond Words. <laughs> Those are more of like entertainment information. I just want to know about the subject because I really, really <laughs> enjoy learning about animal science. I won't take much notes about it. I would just listen it on Audible. But to solve the problem that I can't view the text of the book on the screen while I listen to the audio, next app that solved this problem is Speechify. Speechify is a reading assistance tool that was originally designed for dyslexia and ADHD clients. Oh, this app comes with a subscription fee for 50 US dollars per year, so it's more than half price compared to Audible. Speechify allows me to chug any PDFs into the app and it has this little purple highlighter that's did -did 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 -did, so my eyes don't skip around. It is like a training wheel for you. I can adjust the reading speed from 0 0.5 to 3 or 4 times original speed. One downside is that it took a while to get used to this robotic, monotonous voice. Unfortunately, there is no Mac app for Speechify, I have no idea why. And then the next one is Kindles. I barely read physical books now because since the Panini, everything has been digitalized. Kindle is very good when I want to read a book in complete relaxation mode. And for podcasts, there is one very special app called Air. It is a podcast highlighting app. It forms an air quote when you click this green button on the screen. And Air is the only app that can connect directly with Remnote without integration of Readwise. Overcast. This app is free and the UI UX of app is phenomenal. Like Overcast and Air are both free, so great for that. And then the next one, if the food medium is an article, I will chug it into Instapaper. Instapaper is a read later app for articles. Some of the benefits of this app is that you can read offline and take notes and highlight and don't have those distraction Google ads on the side when you read. Here after all the chomping section apps. I want to end with a great quote from Naval. Reading a book isn't a race. The better the book, the more slowly it should be absorbed. She said to read the best 100 books in history again and again. With this tens and thousands of books and articles out there, I really don't think there is just a hundred books that's worth reading. Internalizing a hundred books takes four or five years. If one book takes around a week and be a part of your wisdom, that is quite amazing. I haven't gone to that level yet. Then the next section is saliva. As we, as we slowly chew on our food in the mouth, we want the saliva to hold the information together. Just like the saliva, this app has many functions. It is called Readwise. It connects your inputs of food and turns it into a highlight organization center. So Readwise is $7.99 a month or for the light version is $4.99 a month. You can use a 30 days free trial. So with the Readwise Pro version, that's $7.99. I can allow this app to send me a daily highlight to my mail so I can remind what I've read or resurface highlight with space repetition and sync highlight from all sources and export them to Evernote, Notion, Rome, or Obsidian for the eating information part. This app currently integrates with Twitter, uh, Apple's Books app, Kindle, Instapaper, Pocket, PDF highlights, oh and Hypothesis which is a Chrome extension web highlighter. There are many others and I'll put everything in the description. You can check them out on which app suits you the best. But I don't know why RevNote have not worked with Readwise yet. They're kind of falling behind the knowledge management industry and marketing space. But as a RevNote user of this channel, I also use Readwise. I would export my highlight from Readwise by exporting a markdown and then manually import it into RevNote without having the function of automatically syncing my highlight directly from my source to Rome Research directly. So after all, what's the purpose of taking notes? We want to find information that spans the test of time. In the quote from a book called Anti-Fragile, it says, Curiosity is anti-fragile, like an addiction, it and is magnified by attempts to satisfy it. Books have a secret mission and ability to multiply, as everyone who has walls to walls bookshelves knows well. So curiosity is what is antifire. We want things that stand the test of time. So here, the highlights gets churning, eaten down in the stomach, and it's ready to get digested. Our next stop is the small intestine apps. 
there is also a second brain in our gut. It's called the eccentric nervous system, just like how Tiago Forte termed it. Hello, lazy self. So the apps that fit here are the Red Note, Obsidian, Roam Research, Notion, all those note-taking apps as your second brain. So here, after we absorb everything, the blood sends the nutrition from the small intestine to everywhere else in the brain where the body needs it. This is how we internalize the information up to this step. And then some enzymes in the small intestine like the amylase, lipase, trypsin, and ribonuclease. The apps in this category helps me to speed up the digestive process. The first one is Alfred. It is a bougified, glorified version of Spotlights. It is so powerful that you can search up the question from Google, YouTube, find things on Amazon. In this case, I use it to search up terms and definitions and questions or concepts that I came across when organizing my notes. And the next one is Magnet. This app snaps windows to spaces. When I take notes, for example, I will have the note taking app on the right and then the source on the left and I can take my notes directly when I read. And in, the, in this case, I will not use Readwise because the original source is already on the side of the note taking app. But we always don't have time to take notes and read at the same time. We, I would do asynchronous reading, which is not taking notes and reading at the same time. And synchronous is doing it at the same time. That sounds like some Dr. Seuss tongue twister right there. After finding a really long, super extensive system to curate my information diet, I have become an info vegan. This means that I am a conscious consumer of information. Well, sometimes too much educational information is also a blow bummer. I kind of spend a little bit too much money on those note taking and um, educational things. I've used learning as an excuse and spent some extra spicy dollarinos on things that I don't have time with. I, then here is a really important quote from Neville. All our diseases are diseases from abundance, not scarcity. So having a clear mind is the most important thing at this year. If you have not chosen your second brain app to organize your knowledge, click on the video here. It will give you a thorough analysis from Note, Obsidian, Rome Research, and Notion. Don't believe in what you think, and happiness is a skill to be learned. Bye-bye!